Time for us to check in with Ed and Jeff tonight in the Shawnigan Lake area. Gentlemen, good evening. How are you? Great, well, Joe. Yeah, I mean, how could we be anything but great? We're in Shawnigan Lake again. It is gorgeous. I went down to the lake earlier today, and, yeah. and I forgot my speedo, so well, I was going to jump in. Well, you know, liberal here, so uh, how did the <laughs> naked swim go? It was refreshing. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't all bad. It was. <laughs> Not to mention disturbing. <laughs> it was. <laughs> refreshing there was some people that scattered. We are at the Shawnigan Lake Historical Society Museum, Joe, or when we're on the air with you, yeah. the hysterical... <laughs> Museum. Yeah, here. we just didn't get enough time to carve up a couple of different letters, but we'll call it that for right now. The Shawnigan Lake Hysterical Society, uh, as long as the upside is here. That's right. We go or at back, least we uh, think it is. Artifacts going back to oh. uh, the late 1800s, uh, back from the mill, and I mean, all sorts of cool things about Shawnigan Lake over the years. And all the art, we're going to show you all the yeah, artifacts. Just the a few How things. How do you like these? The, the, the yeah. little water skis from You know, there's a set of water skis. You don't need to have the rack on your roof to haul them, you know, where, you, where you're going to ski. To and this little away? desk, I mean, I used to, uh, I, I still fit. Exactly. <laughs> Look at that, eh? The inkwell. I can't get out, but I can get it. <laughs> Is this for putting your smokes? That was, yeah, you put, it would hold one pen and two smokes. <laughs> That's right, the little carved little ridge. But the, the, real, the real deal here. Right is this case and they've allowed us to open this for the first time and when do they say early 1900s so the case has not been opened since the early 1900s look at the dust on the <laughs> oh oops, sorry about that all right what could be in here what? let's oh hey oh, this oh, looks oh. wow what it's an old scroll of some kind <laughs> oh, there's a mouse in it Jeez. <laughs> all right let's uh let's see what this could oh, be oh jeez. Okay. careful with well that. here I'm gonna just try to see what we got here, and it is. Uh, oh, oh! Hey, it's got. Uh, hey, there's some pretty good material here. How about <laughs> this, this one? This is from Aristotle, who writes, "Hey, I was on the Kinsall trestle this morning, and I could see the federal deficit." <laughs> hey. There's a fried some pretty egg. good there's, material there, I would think. There's a fried egg in there. As well. <laughs> there's a fried egg. There, 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 might, there might be. Well, we'll just tuck that back in gently. And uh, we're going to tell you about the big soon. fundraising campaign. They're uh, looking to uh, expand and upgrade the museum here. So we'll be telling you how you can uh, donate and take part uh, in that uh, over the next couple hours as well. Yeah. This is kind of like Geraldo when he got into that uh, hidden cave, right? A little just quite a bit of disappointment once you opened up the. I'm still, I'm still thinking about Jeff skinny dipping in Shawnigan Lake, trying to get that out of our head during supper <laughs> yeah. time. Yeah, <laughs> thanks yeah, for that. Yeah. Supper time, don't you? <laughs> Sorry, folks. Okay. All right, you guys. Lots of fun. Another history night on the upside from Shawnigan. Check in with Ed and talk weather now. Boy, that was nice this morning. Ed went for a dog walk, first time in a long time. It started raining. It was pouring for about probably two minutes, then it stopped. But it was, it was nice. Everyone was smiling, happy to be wet. It was. Everybody was happy about that. Yeah, I uh, saw you tweeted out a little shot of some uh, droplets even on your glasses. So yeah. we're going to show you some of that visit in a second. I want to just talk quickly here about some of the stuff at the Shawnigan Lake Museum because it is really interesting. Here is some of the stuff from the original mill back to 1890. So it's quite a collection of uh, saws and boots. Actually, I would show you a few of these pulleys, but uh, I can't lift any of them. Anyway, take my word for it. That's a great display. But how about right behind me? This is the Kinsall Trestle model. This was done by uh, Ken Wine up there in Parksville. I don't know how long it took him to do it, but it is brilliant. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's an exact replica. He brought it down in his pickup truck. That truck, that must have been a nervous drive down from Parksville with this when he finally had it done. But great job there, Ken. We had a little bit of a Jenga joke idea here, but the museum wasn't interested in us doing that. So we'll leave it as it is, but uh, stunning for sure. All right, we'll talk about that rain. Here comes some of the uh, vids that we gathered today of people uh, enjoying or at least, uh, you know, relishing in a little bit of rain oh. today. This All right, so we are the up dog here is helping me out. Go He's taking a, a few go calls ahead, here. Yep, Sometimes. Yep. After River. the weather, we get a couple of calls, and well, uh, he's fielding those. He's not that accurate, but, I mean, he's all... He's all take just another hang call. On a take another, yeah, 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 This will be a positive yeah. one here, I'm sure. Listen, what he's they correct 30% of the time. Uh, You'll have to take it up with management at the station. Just hang on a second. Gold okay. River. Go Gold, Gold River. River. Okay, what, uh, His wardrobe... Well, listen, he... No, he's not a great dresser, oh, but... Okay, that, all right, that's, that's enough. That's enough calls. No more calls. Sorry. Thanks just the same. Back to you, Joe. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Ed. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. 
Okay, the phones have stopped ringing because Jeff disconnected them, and yeah. uh, Jeff's standing by with more. <laughs> Jeff. <laughs> Yeah, Joe, we're in Shawnigan Lake at uh, the Historical Museum, which goes back uh, a lot of years. Artifacts back to the late 1800s. The museum's been around since the 70s, and Lori Trelore is joining me right now. First of all, explain what Eddie's doing back here, Lori. Oh, we've put him to work with what we do with our school programming. We let the kids experience some of the old-fashioned uh, activities, so to speak, or chores. And so he had to pump himself some water and add it to the wash basin and the rinse bucket before he can get going on his laundry. Okay, well, we'll get him. Uh, there you go. I want to see that clean at the end, mister. Listen, tell us about, uh, you know, th this great museum and, and some of the history and some of the artifacts here. Right. The Society started in 1977, and their entire purpose was to open a museum. And in 1983, the... Shawnigan Lake Fire Hall became redundant and they moved in and in the beginning it was kind of like a few peas rattling around in the saucepan and nowadays we're more like sardines tucked into the tin um, and we are looking to expand the museum. It's been a very successful run for us over all of those years and it's continuously operated. Yeah, so right now, I mean, the, the bottom line is your goal right now is of $2 million. You're at uh, 1.1, and you've had a couple $100,000 donations from community members, which has certainly helped out. Yes, that's true. In 2016, we had a, an older gentleman who was here basically in the beginning of the museum give us $100,000 towards the expansion project. That's kind of was the kickoff for our idea that we could do this. We've also raised money through grants and other uh, fundraising activities, but very recently we were given another $100,000 donation from a local family who's had a place in Shawnigan, a summer place, for over 70 years. Wow. And they've dedicated their donation to um, ancestors Newton and Marjorie Cameron. So the, the donation came from the Cameron family. And they believe they gave it to the community in gratitude for all of their happy memories over the 70 years that they've been coming to Shawnigan. Yeah, it's just a gorgeous place. I mean, I love coming here as, as well. Uh, how do people get involved? How can people donate if they wish to? Well, it's very easy. You can go to our website. You can call us anytime. You can email us. You can show up at our door with yes, money. Yes, do that. Yes. <laughs> a bag full of money. Exactly. That, that, that would be great. So it is Shawnigan Museum. Shawnigan Lake Museum. Shawnigan Lake Museum. Dot com. Uh, dot com. And I mean, you got to check out this place. We've shown some of the B-roll. We'll show it throughout the next hour. I mean, back from the mill stuff from the 1890s. I mean, uh, old water skis, That's old right. equipment used in this community. The this goes on and on. It's a must-see. What, what hours are you open, Lori? Right now we're open Wednesday through Sunday from 10.30 to 3.30. Uh, oh. That might change if COVID uh, changes it for right. us. And we may reduce our hours in the fall. So check our website for sure before you come. All right. And uh, our guarantee is we'll surprise you. Yeah, you certainly will. That is for sure. We're going to show you what Eddie did here at the at the end. We won't show No, no, not quite oh, yet. Okay. Not the unveil yet. First of all, let's get to our upside story tonight. Here's Cole Sorensen. And some good washing going on here at uh, Shawnigan Lake Museum. Eddie Bain on the washboard back there. Th yeah. Those were dirty cloths, too, and somehow... I mean, I could have used my own stomach for the for the washboard. I thought I opted for this. Yeah. <laughs> you want to yeah, right. show that thing off yeah. on live TV? Okay, oh, yeah. I mean those were quite dirty when you started here. Yeah, they and were as Jill dirty. said, six-year-olds can do this. So, <laughs> well, I'm concerned about the clothes uh, the clothespin hanging right. up coming up that here. That is technical. So let me just run to help that. you. Yeah, Jill, take that out. I got to feed one more through. What kind of thing that to, is? How to do that? How'd that turn out? Do you think? Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Well, you know. It was a, there you go. There okay. we go. Now, now can you on, do it? On the line. Can you do it? Any close All pins. right. Here we go. We got... Um, I think you need this to whistle a whistle or sing a song, or one don't you? Uh, two pinner. She's a two pinner. Oh, she's a two pinner. Yeah. You, you've got to take it down so it's going to hang down so it'll dry. Oh, I, oh, oh, yeah. I can't. Yeah, oh, I see. All right. We're up to be up here all, all day. Got a point there. All right. I got a, a two right. pinner. A two pinner. There we go. We're getting her done. Much more from Shawnigan Lake and the uh, Historic Museum. <laughs> there you go, buddy. There you go. Buddy. There you, go. you gotta wash it again. You know, with that <laughs> <vein>. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah, put that one back. <laughs> Oops, I missed. All right, thank nice you guys. Hand. We'll see you. It's... Okay, time for us to check in with Ed and Jeff. They are in Shawnigan Lake tonight, and oh no, I hope we're not interrupting. Gentlemen, can you? Oh, no, can, there you go. Can you go. break away from the film? Well, it's tough. We're going to check the film. Oh, yeah, this is the theater room here at the Shawnigan Lake Museum. These popcorn twisters, they're filling, aren't they? But boy, they're good. <laughs> they good. Oh, your cheese. I got the Hawkins cheese. You got the I'm Hawkins cheese. Halfway done in my bag. That's the problem with opening your snacks before the movie. Yeah, you got to wait. Uh, we should have waited until we after the previews. We should have waited until the previews, at least. But yeah, Shawnigan Lake Museum uh, in Shawnigan Lake. Oddly enough, yeah. yes. <laughs> so uh, we're here tonight checking out all the artifacts that go back to uh, like the late 1800s. Such an amazing place. you got to come and check this out. They're doing some fundraising as well. Yeah, they're trying to expand it. They need some more room here. They need uh, uh, accessible washrooms. And so they're they're on their way to $2 million. they got a million, what, one or a million two? 1.1. 1. 1. 1. 1.1 so far. So if you care to make a donation, uh, it's money well spent here. The ShawnigaLakeMuseum.com, that's the website to go to. And uh, they would love to get uh, some I input, some financial input. I seats. did not do that. Did no, you, uh, I was just I was doing that. Okay, what are our options? Of, okay, let's see what we got to show things. here. Jar, All right, on the old program here. tonight, we have, um, all right, we got three to chew. We got uh, Sound of Music. You want that, Sound no, of Music? No, no, no. Music. Or uh, Footloose. No, uh, I don't want to see a musical. Okay, and uh, I don't know what this one is. Uh, the World's Most Handsome Man. What is that? Have you seen that before? Well, it's one of the most interesting of those right. three. Anyway, World's Most Handsome yeah. Man. Let's yeah, let's give it a, sh give it a right. shot, and um, yeah. let's see what this is. Oh, there it is. Oh! Oh, oh wow! Well, there you go. Well, I do know this one. <laughs> you do, yeah. Yeah, it's a dark comedy. <laughs> yeah, uh, with terrible a ton reviews. of nudity. Oh, terrible reviews. Well, there's a ton, <laughs> a ton of nudity in, <laughs> in this one. Well, they're so. not kidding about the world's most handsome. <laughs> well, look at this look guy. Look at those nipples. Wow. I mean, that, guy. that is uh, that is hot. Okay. Don't, hot don't zoom in, Mark. Don't zoom in. All right, you guys. That's very funny. Yeah. That's good. Uh, it's rated Rated PG, pretty gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Thank you, you two, for that. We're well, gonna get to this. Okay. More from the Shawnigan right. Lake Museum in a bit. Enjoy the twists in the Hawkins. Hey, time for us to check in with Ed. Hopefully, the terrible movie is over and we can talk weather. Something more fun. Some rain today, Ed. You wouldn't believe. <laughs> yeah, really. You wouldn't believe how that movie ended. He lost the girl. Yeah. You know, it's uh, it wasn't a, it wasn't a typical wasn't a typical ending. <laughs> yeah, it was it was nice to get a little rain today. Like we said earlier, you're out with your dog Georgie and some uh, light showers, and then it kind of got uh, going fairly steadily for a while. It didn't last all that long, but at least it was something. So people were rejoicing in that rain today. I don't think we'll see much in the way of that uh, in the days ahead. But we'll tell you that or tell you more about that in a second. But we're here at the Shawnigan Lake Museum, full of unbelievable artifacts, including a great display here uh, featuring all the historic saws and pulleys uh, and chainsaws here from the mill back in 1890. This one, well, you know what? You'd have to be a stronger guy than me to work with that. That's a heavy, that is one heavy saw. Uh, but they got one even bigger back in there. And uh, a few empty beer bottles for the, I guess, at the end of the day. Because you don't want that during the day uh, when you're working with chainsaws, ever. All right, so uh, check it out. It's uh, right here in downtown Shawnigan Lake, and uh, it's fabulous. You won't be disappointed in and days ahead. But uh, here, and I'll tell you what, sadly, we need to get this. <laughs> that just happened? <laughs> I just not. Look at this. I, what am I here? Two hours, and I've broken something at the museum of all places. All right, we'll, uh, we'll glue that back on. Now I feel like doing a bigger donation. Oh, well, I <laughs> donation? I think he just, yeah, I so think he just bought the crossing sign. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think I own this now. <laughs> You're right. So, so anything, it goes by Looney. Oh, well, that's cool. You get the railroad sound when you make a donation. Jeff, would you care to try this? Forget it. We don't, no, you have no money. No money. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we'll be busily gluing back <laughs> this sign, and uh, we'll be back with the upside in a bit. Get the duct Sorry. tape. Yeah, where's the, where's the Upside duct tape? There you go. All right, thank you, Ed. The Upside is brought to you by IBEW Local 230. Did he fix the sign, Jeff? Has it been repaired? 
Yeah, he fixed the... Uh, no, actually, he didn't fix... Grant is fixing the sign right now. Ed's broke it. Uh, he's broken several things here today, to be quite honest. He, he went out to his car to get some more donation money. We are at the <laughs> Shonigan Lake Museum, and they're looking to raise some funds right now and expand things. Michael Battler is part of uh, the steering committee here. Uh, what's your position exactly, Michael? I'm chair of the board. The, ooh! The, ooh oh, oh. And, no, no, it's... <laughs> The board is, is an excellent board, and, and they're just running on all cylinders right now. We're so grateful to have such a dedicated team mm -hmm. that supports Lori and the executive director and the whole staff here. It's just amazing. Right, Joe was just asking about the fundraising. The bottom line is we're looking to expand here. We have a goal of $2 million. We're at 1.1 right now, and people can donate by going to www.shawniganlakemuseum.com. Dot com and why is it important to get this two million dollars right now Michael it's really simple this is for the community we do this because the community is built by the community and it's it's a place to connect and reconnect with your community mm -hmm. so we've got generations that uh, may have grown up here but they've moved away right. and they come back and connect they connect their stories and it's so fascinating hearing all these different stories from everyone you that's connecting with us. Yeah, and you were saying something about, you know, even meeting rooms. I mean, I, I was just saying, to you, you know, I grew up on the prairies and, and people would meet at the uh, at the hockey arena, but you're hoping that in Shawnigan Lake, this will be a, a meeting place and that you know, people can get together and it's, it's bigger than coming to see the artifacts. It's, it's getting together and being a community. Exactly. We have got, uh, you know, listening to community, we've got a, a community living room that we've designed right. that the community will be able to come here and actually hold a hundred year old book and read it. Um, we're going to have a great room where we can host events we'll be able to even have weddings and we'll also expand our programming that we're doing today for schools and we're hoping to expand actually into seniors as well and just bring them all in and have these really great events here and we looked at the stuff from the mill which went back to the uh, to the late 1800s and there's you know a lot of families have been around this community for a long time your wife's family uh, has had a place on Shawnigan Lake since 1904 1904 and yeah we've had a centennial we've had a you know a lot of different events here and it's just been amazing people have gotten married uh, it's it's so great having that lineage and to rely on from the family and that kind of thing and maybe just you know 30 seconds and, and what people will find here because you know it's, it's pretty wide it's pretty varied everybody's experience is different right when they come here we actually are docents and the people you engage with it's a one-on-one -on -one experience and so we listen we find out which where, where your history or where your story comes from, right. and then we share the stories back. We show you what we have, and there's so much to see here. We're, we're bigger than we look. Yeah, and it's good, great for little kids, too. You have uh, programs for kids. In fact, you teach them how to use the old uh, washboard and, and that sort of thing, so there's some interactive here as well. Absolutely. We are not such a precious material museum where you can't touch anything. You can definitely touch here, and we have things that you can engage with and hold and really see what it's about. www.shawniganlakemuseum.com for the donations, and we'd love to uh, give you the upside oh, mug here, fantastic. Michael. The upside blend from Fresh Cup in uh, Sanderson. Uh, intriguing and just a really cool spot. People should check it out. Donations, once more, where do people go? Yeah. Donations, they could uh, come into the museum, they could go to the website, uh, they can, any way you can sort of engage us is the way to do it. Like phone, uh, come in, we, we accept actual cash as well. Yeah. Ed's gone out to his car to get more for some of the stuff he's broke. Uh, thanks for having us here tonight, Michael. We really appreciate it. Thanks for coming. There's Michael Battler, the Shawnigan Lake Museum. To donate, www.shawniganlakemuseum.com. And let's get to... Oh, good storytelling there from uh, Cole Sorensen. Did you get some more cash out of your car to help I, uh, yeah, some I think of the repairs? Yeah, I, I think I uh, should have done that because, uh, actually, no, I had none in my car. I, you didn't? I dug through the back seat, saw, found some delicious fries, though. So oh, did you? It was a win-win in that regard. But the <laughs> sign's been repaired. Grant so, did yeah, that, yeah. There we go. We just need to fill that up with toonies and loonies, so when you're here at the Shawnigan Lake Museum, drop it in. Yeah, so many cool things. I mean, we talked about, you know, the history in, in uh, the mill and forestry yeah. in the area, the families that have been around the lake for, for years and years. And a big part is the, is the recreation here. And uh, there's oh, an old, break there's now we all get uh, The old water reading. skis. Like, look at that old slalom ski. That's from back in the day. And there's actually been some world champion uh, water skiers that have come right out of uh, Shawnigan Lake back and in the day. And that looks like that's uh, some kind of real wood, right? Like that's... Sure. That's, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All I right. made one once years. I made out of drywall. Oh, uh, yeah. And don't do that. That's uh, must, no. that's not what you want. I mean, you want to use the real, <laughs> yeah. the real. It's easy to cut that drywall. 
but it's not great on the lake. That's a, oh, hey, look at this. I found this here in the kitchen uh, display here. You got a shot of that? Look at that, eh? Eddie's Owl Mansions. Yeah. I have a box of Be these. Be careful. At, I got a box of these at home in Be the careful. bathroom. They're great. And <laughs> yeah, work great. Okay. All, All right. right. We're just about at the end of our rope, aren't we? There's the groan of the day. We're coming back for the smile of the day, Jill. A little later on in the show. Uh, good night. Good night, you guys. This has been fun. We'll see good you in night. a bit. <laughs>